Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome here at the technical forum at the group exhibit Hydrogen, Fuel Cells and Batteries. And what I would also like to welcome on our online audience that is watching us from all over the world right now through our live stream. In the technical forum, you will hear every 50 minutes new presentations on selected topics regarding the hydrogen industry. The upcoming talk will be about the testing and standardized test procedures for the SOFC, for the SOAC, and the PEM fuel cell. For that, please welcome with me on stage the center manager of the FCH test center with DTU Energy, Mrs. Dr. Eva Rao Nielsen. Thank you a lot. Thank you for your introduction, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Eva Rao Nielsen, uh, and I will give you the presentation on testing and standardized test procedures for SOFC, SOEC, and PEM testing. My outline of the talk will be first about the test center and our department, DTU Energy, then about the testing that we offer and perform, about our standardized test procedure and the work we do in developing this, and uh, finally, other projects we do and uh, our contacts. So the FCH test center, which I'm center manager of, belongs to the DTU Energy, which is a department of Technical University of Denmark. We focus on technologies for energy conversion and storage. And we are 250 employees. Uh, based in, in Denmark, both at the Riesø campus and the main campus north of Copenhagen in Lyngby. More than 100 of us are working on fuel cells and hydrogen technologies. And uh, all of us focus on sustainable energy technologies for the future. We have experience in R&D and testing of fuel cells way back since 1987. And the last five years, we have offered uh, testing on commercial terms through the FCH test center. DTU Energy focuses on industrial collaboration and very much on industrial relevant processes. So that the processes that we look into can be scaled up and are of industrial relevance. Um, we deal with fundamental investigations, understanding the, the items really in the depth, all the way up to component manufacture. So we produce, for example, uh, SOFC and SOEC cells. We deal with uh, SOFC, SOEC, high temperature PEM, hydrogen storage, batteries, and more technologies. We focus a lot on the materials and component uh, development, as well as manufacturing processes for ceramics. We have a great uh, group dealing with these uh, processes. We do advanced testing that I will explain to you, characterization, and a lot about modeling as well. The FCH test center focus on testing training of engineers and technicians and consultancies, mainly to companies, but also to other organizations. We do offer advanced testing and demonstration of components in uh, relevant uh, conditions. Um, and we do work with the standardized uh, test procedures that I will speak of. The testing that we do one of the main techniques is electrochemical performance. And uh, th I guess that's the core competence uh, of our group. We do IV curves, we do impedance spectroscopy, and we perform what we call a fingerprint, which reveals in detail the various performance of, of the layers in a, a fuel cell. So that we do by testing at a number of various temperatures and a different combination of gases on electrodes 
and from that we can reveal the performance of the individual parts of the cell. So which is it the electrode or uh, electrolyte that is responsible for, for this resistance, uh, this loss. And when we perform that uh, fingerprint in the beginning and in the end of a long-term test, then we can also reveal which part of the cell is responsible for degradation. And then we can also, when we have identified this, we have competences to, to troubleshoot, to, to lead you to ways of overcoming uh, the challenges and improve your product. We do testing on cells, on small stacks, and the new thing in our lab is that we can go up to full-size stacks around one kilowatt. We also offer some, some software, some tools to analyze uh, impedance data. So if you deal with impedance spectroscopy yourself, you are welcome to go to our page alchemia.dk and look into the software available there. A real strong tool in our department is the cooperation between different disciplines. So when the electrochemists have analyzed the cells, and found the probable uh, reason for degradation, hand over the cells to the microscopists that do very advanced uh, characterization. So they can show if the degradation and they can uh, confirm if it's due to impurities. Is it grain growth that t takes place during long-term operation? Is the cell uh, well integrated or is there delimination? And uh, one of the techniques that has been developed is uh, we can visualize nickel particles if they are interconnected, if they touch each other. So this is a, a picture of uh, nickel particles and wires set in a network. And the nickel should contribute to the electric conductivity of this phase. And uh, does only do, they do only do so in case they are in contact with each other, is the interconnected, or what we call percolated. So we have developed a technique where it's very easy to see if particles are interconnected or not. So here, the particles, bright white, they are electrical uh, con connected, and they, con they contribute to the electric uh, conductivity, whereas the more light gray particles here, that is also nickel, but they are isolated particles, and therefore they do not anymore contribute to the electric conductivity of this phase. Uh, that is a, a typical reason for a degradation uh, after a long-term operation. We offer corro corrosion testing, for example, of uh, metallic interconnects, a very relevant conditions, so high temperature, relevant atmosphere, very much as it, uh, an SOFC is operated. And we do not only uh, measure main mass gain, as shown here, but also measure online the um, area-specific resistance, so you can follow the process that is ongoing. Uh, and we combine again with microscopy. We offer mechanical testing, and we have uh, dedicated equipment for measuring, again, at the relevant conditions, high temperature, specific atmosphere, so it's as relevant for the operation uh, as possible at all. And we have th this uh, tool on the picture where we are able to measure up to 17 samples, it's the green samples here, uh, in one go, so we heat up we measure uh, the strength, mechanical strength, uh, all uh, one after the other, and we can cool down. And then in two goes, we have, for example, 30 samples, which is required in order to have reliable test results. And then we can show how the strength depend on temperature, maybe on the heat treatment, heat profile you use for your product. We offer high pressure testing. At the moment, we have proven uh, tests uh, 
of both SOFC and SOEC up to 30 bar, and we are continuously working on it until we reach cell testing up to 100 bar and uh, stack testing at 50 bar. And that can show you, and your company, the potential there is in your product when operating with these uh, conditions uh, for future applications. And then to our work on standardized uh, test procedures. Within our lab, we have a procedure from you contact us the first time asking if we can assist you all the way to how we handle it, how we agree on the test uh, program to be performed, uh, documentation uh, all the way in the product uh, process, how we store the data and ensure confidentiality all the way until you get the final report of the results. But what is of interest here is the work we do cooperation with other uh, test institutes. We are involved in two European projects which both look uh, at industrial relevant test procedures. One focuses on PEM fuel cell stacks, that is the stack test project, which, which will end later this year. Uh, a number of application specific test programs are defined and uh, the project deals with both performance, general performance, endurance testing, as well as safety aspects. We are mostly involved with endurance uh, test methods and in the project there has been three test modules so-called developed. So one reflecting continuous operation, one uh, representing a load cycle, and the th last one, a start-stop situation. And these modules can be combined with other, other modules to reflect a specific application as well as possible. There will be a presentation on this project tomorrow here at the Technical Forum with a, a colleague from Next Energy. The other EU project we are part of is uh, the SOCTES QA project focusing on SOFC as well as SOEC, both on cell level and stack level. And again, for various uh, number of relevant applications uh, and high involvement of industry to ensure that these new procedures are as well as possible reflecting real life of the products. And we invite you to uh, join a workshop in December in Italy, where these, uh, pro these uh, procedures will be uh, discussed. The project deals with both uh, SOFC, SOEC, and also the combined operation, the reversible SOFC, SOEC. And that could be following a real uh, supply profile and demand profile. Here I illustrate how um, a, a wind profile can be. Uh, this is a true profile over 16 days from the Danish island of Ero, uh, where sometimes there's a lot of wind and sometimes there's no wind. That's the blue line. The red curve shows the energy demand, the electricity demand on this island. And if they are operating in island mode, then sometimes, a, a lot of the times, there's surplus of energy, and a few situations, there's a lack of uh, electricity. And there, we can make SOEC and produce hydrogen and store it when there is a surplus, and then we can operate the same unit uh, as fuel cell when there's a lack of electricity. And our lab have, has the experience of uh, following such load profiles also in long-term testing. And, um, and we have really uh, nice results that actually the performance is improved by running in combined operation. Other projects that we are involved in is uh, demonstration projects. And one of them is uh, the Enerfield project on micro CHP units demonstrated over uh, uh, Europe, 12 countries. And uh, we are from DTU responsible for the analysis and uh, make reports on the potentials and the barriers 
in order to have this new technology come to the mass market. Uh, Wednesday there will be uh, presentations on the Enerfield project also here in the technical forum in the afternoon. I come to the end of my talk and I will say if your company uh, has a need for testing fuel cells, electrolysis of batteries, we will be the right testing solution for your company if you need testing on cells or stacks level or components with a special focus on electrochemical performance and materials characterization. The DTU Energy Department will be happy to, to make, be a development partner and join uh, project cooperation. I will invite you to join my colleagues' uh, presentation on Thursday, first thing in the morning, 10 o'clock. Professor Anke Hagen will talk about speeding up commercial breakthrough through the SOFC and SOEC know-how from DTU. And finally, I will invite you to our booth, E65. And thank you so much for your attention. Thank you very much, Dr. Eva Nielsen. Unfortunately, we do not have time for questions right now. So um, as you invited the audience already, any question can be taken at booth E65 at this time. Yeah. Once again, thank you very much. Thank you. Next talk will be about the hydrogen generation on uh, demand for fuel cells and internal combustion engine by Dr. Dara Grigorova in two minutes time.